At this point, right, my left hand, as you can see here, is kind of up anyway. And if this slap, let's say this left hand, his right, my left, were to come around here to try and slap me in the head, I do not need to duck my head below the level of the slap. I only need to duck my head below the level of this broad right here. <laughs> Okay, I'm glad to uh, be here with yeah. my half Asian lawyer and oh, yeah. G. Morgan Jr. You know, we get a lot of requests often for behind the scenes, kind of some inside yeah. baseball, yeah. but none more than from the recent installment <laughs> of Change My <laughs> oh, Mind, no. actually. Well, not the Change My Mind, but the, when dysphorians, we can use that term, when dysphorians oh. attack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because yeah. I was yeah. assaulted not once, but twice. Oh, man. <laughs> by angry oh. transgenders. Yeah. Can you explain for me real quick assault versus battery? Is assault is the. Bad one, and so battery is the good assault. It depends. In the, it depends what state. So in Texas, assault is when you've given the apprehension of being battered. Battery is the actual physical connection, like when you actually okay. touch someone. Uh, or hit okay. them. So assault is the better battery. Assault is the you didn't hit them, but they were scared so about being hit. Yes. But again, that's so only it's a, it's in a this better battery. State. It's okay. a better battery. If you have to pick right. which one, exactly. you pick the better one. The yes, assault. Exactly. You didn't get hit in the assault one. I'm yes. confused. Yeah. Okay. Did you guys see? <laughs> have you guys seen the? Uh, I, I have not. One just yet. Text? No. I'm right. To support the guy who signed the. I know. Of checks. Nope. I know. <laughs> but, so oh, we went. Geez. This for, for context for people uh, who are who are just coming in right now. I highly recommend that you go and watch the. Uh, I shouldn't highly recommend my own videos. Yeah, if you want to be very, I would highly recommend it. Go and watch the videos as well as the change my mind for more context, uh, because this is pretty much just. L Silliness. <laughs> this is not yeah, necessarily yeah. of. Uh, 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 there's not a ton of value added here, other than some incredible entertainment, which I hope was <laughs> yes, worth it. Yeah. That's what they came for. Because my pride was. I mean, do you have any idea what how terrible it feels to be assaulted by <laughs> transgenders and not be able to do anything because yes. you know that you would immediately be hauled out in cuffs? And even though I have yeah. half Asian lawyer Bill Richmond on retainer. He can't stop. He cannot stop the torch mob of me so much as flicking the nope. ear of a gender dysphoria. Nope. That is it's a impossible. hate crime. The SPLC will be here. Yep. All right. But let's walk you through this because there was some stuff going on that uh, you couldn't have been privy to. And we'll do a little bit of a play by play. Uh, but here, since you guys haven't seen it, is the uh, first time you're seeing the very first assault uh, at the Women's <laughs> March. Here we go. Let's watch this. Hey. Cigar. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. James Dean himself with that jacket. Come on, Capture the flag, sweetheart! <laughs> now, nice. the, wonderful thing, the wonderful thing about nice. sweetheart, and you'll see that I return to that, is that it was a term of endearment. Yeah. Of course. Which women then deemed sexist mm. and desperately wanting to identify as women. Transgenders also claim it to be incredibly mm. sexist. Dang it. It's like, oh. I think sweetheart is, a, a woman says, I think a sweetheart is sexist. And transgenders are like, me too, me too. <laughs> I'm with right. them. Right? <laughs> so this was, this was a man to woman, male to female. That was a. This is a woman. This is, yeah, it's a, what? Okay, shame on. on you. I'm not yeah. dead name. Shame on you. Hey, I'm hey, trying hey, to understand We here. don't know unless we ask. And well, it's usually pretty obvious, but yeah, I'll yeah, give that's that. the role we should play, by the way. Ask every large woman their preferred pronoun <laughs> yeah. and see how that works out. <laughs> it's not going to be well. Uh, so let me give you a little bit of play-by-play -play here. This is something that a lot of people may not know, but we do have security, obviously, at these events. Right. Yep. But primarily, my number one focus is to avoid being harmed uh, while still staying safe. And so sometimes it requires that you defend yourself, and it, it requires creative ways of doing that without harming the other person. Right. Which, by, before we get to this, this just goes to show you the complete lack of a accountability from these people. Uh, yeah. This male to female transgender walked up and tried to steal right. the private property of, even if you don't know me or you don't disagree with our policy, me and then two other 220 pound men. Yeah. <laughs> right? That's that a, over that seven, plan. it's 700 pounds of meat. Hey, <laughs> there's no way. I like the balls on her. <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't even, yeah. would you ever dream no. of doing that? Look, I wouldn't no dream way. of doing it if it were a scrawny walking prawn Antifa. Yeah, no, there, there's no way that you would do that unless you knew that you had a free pass and that's what right. they've been given. And by yeah. the way, the police were right there. I did nothing. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> let me be really. So, in this instance, there actually was a little bit of sort of technical um, yeah. maneuvering uh, at play. So, let's really? replay this clip here, uh, Court of Black Garrett. Right. So, we can see. Okay, so I see this person up there. I have my cigar. It's a uh, uh, Laranya. Great cigar. <laughs> Look at this. Right away, I know he's going for the. 
going for the table. And I'm thinking, okay, all right, uh, I have to handle this. And okay, let's freeze frame. Okay, so before we get to this really quickly, um, people, I've seen some people say like, oh, you need three people to stop one trend. No, no, we need three people to stop one transgender and not harm them greatly. Right, right. Yes. Just think about coming over the top with that. But the whole thing is <laughs> we don't want to commit counter assault. Uh, but I did, I was looking at this at here so we can pause really quickly. So one thing I want you to see is, I don't know if you saw this, but right here, okay, I don't know if you can see this. That's where, see how my foot comes up off the ground? Yeah. So right away, I know that this uh, gender dysphoria is yanking on that sign and this person's weight is backwards. Right. Right. right? And I'm thinking, okay, uh, I don't want to let go of the sign. Now, what I do is I actually uh, saw that the weight was very heavy, okay, on this lead leg right there. So let me yeah. erase that. Let me make it a little bit clear so that way I don't have to uh, get in the way of the line later. So oh right gosh. there I can see, look, back foot is up, so we know the weight is on this lead leg. That is right. the lead leg that I go for in just lightly tripping with my foot. Why did I do that? Well, let me tell you why I did that, because when you tend to trip somebody's leg, and we'll get to that in a second, uh, this person would have one choice, right? They would either have to go ass backwards into pavement, <laughs> Or lovely bush. let go of the sign and rotate out. And credit to this right. gender dysphoria, very good balance. Probably very would be nice. good in a wrestling yeah, meet at defending a single leg. Probably was an all-state wrestler before this. <laughs> what, what, were you, what were you thinking like when, when she, this uh, person, I don't uh, know how to say that, when they were coming up, like were you thinking this is somebody who's coming up to sit down or were you like, uh oh No, no, I, I knew right away and I was entirely thinking, okay, how do we make yeah. sure that this, it's the only sign we had. For yeah. that. <laughs> that's I was thinking, how so do we got, keep this I sign? Mean, did you see that BG style walk up? I yeah. mean, that was <laughs> true. pro wrestler right there. Really yeah. So I'm thinking, how do, we, how do we keep this sign yeah. and pry this person off right. without them being able to claim that we harmed them even though they instigated something? So again, right. I'll show you real quick, okay? Foot comes up and traps this foot right here. Uh, this person's choice is to go down into the pavement or uh, circle out. 360. And if we play it right now, you can see what happened. I sweep the leg, continue pushing it up. Let's go of the sign and circles out to avoid being off yeah. balanced and then oh. walks away. See that little hop? That's to regain the balance. So there you go. this is the beauty. Oh, and look, a nice, <laughs> and I will say, <laughs> beautiful technique, circled out into a wonderful little curtsy to convince <laughs> us all that you are a woman. So, Still not convinced. Um, <laughs> I'm convinced. Hey, I'm convinced. how and, dare you? Uh, I dare. I dare. <laughs> and and this is something actually that we uh, we practice quite a bit in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and yeah. Judo for people who don't know. Now when we do it, we typically do it obviously not holding a change my mind sign, <laughs> yeah. but you grab a collar elbow. And so when you yeah. do this foot trip and you're actually trying to take somebody to the ground, what you would do is steer them to the weight of the leg that you're trying to sweep, right? right? Basically, yeah. you catch that foot and then when they try and step up and step their foot out, you sweep it and you tip them. Yeah. It's a very non-violent way of getting somebody to the ground who's a threat or opening something else if you're mm -hmm. looking to try and achieve a takedown. As a matter of fact, one of my favorites, Hodra Gracie, you can see it right here. It's called Diashi Barai as a takedown, performing it against Rafael Lovato. Now watch the way he circles, he lifts up, tries to, and circles and goes down. Let's see that in slow motion really quickly. So it's the exact same technique that was used at the transit. Look, now the foot comes uh, up to try and avoid it, and the Dunzo. upper body wheeling is what drives him to the ground. <laughs> wow. Now, that would have been instance, the fate of said transgender. Right. I knew they were going to either cling on to that sign uh, or let go. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. You did a good job. So it was a good thing. Nobody got hurt. It was a very good yeah, job. That was but nice. you got to keep also, them safe. And I also think it's a good it's a good thing to talk about when you talk about self-defense, right? Like, what are the other ways? People tend to get this idea that if you are um, a gun owner, right. that you're just looking to, or for any excuse, to shoot someone. But really, you learn a lot about how to de-escalate. Yeah. One of the ways to de-escalate is to be prepared to execute a move that allows people to get away yeah. or allows them to have the option, right? Because um, right. if, if all you know how to do is flail and, and punch, which a lot of you know the Antifa members do, that's, that's <laughs> I mean, that's what they right. do, that's yeah. true. right? And so in Concrete milkshakes. <laughs> exactly. Then you resort to concrete it's milkshakes. It's crouching milkshake, hidden concrete you, technique. Yeah, <laughs> you, you get your blizzard and it's just terrible, right? Yeah, exactly. It's like Nicolas Cage and the Weatherman. They're just yeah. Yeah. launching frosties. Um, but that is what I will say, the reason I'm a big fan of, of the grappling arts, because it can be drunk uncle jujitsu, as I call call it, or it can be something more severe. It's basically yeah. as severe as you want it to be. If you have to strike somebody, you know, your only way of dealing with the situation is hurting someone, which in some scenarios that's appropriate, but you do not want to deal with the legal ramifications, mm. not to mention the social yeah. justice ramifications. <laughs> and as you yeah. saw in the change my mind, uh, this, th these people there, especially this one uh, woman I was interviewing, were immediately quick 
to forgive and accept, oh, yeah. uh, deem all horrible behavior on behalf of transgenders acceptable. Exactly. Basically yeah. saying, I deserved it. Oh my gosh. Well, look, I, Wait, I think is that, that a, sign was asking for it. Is that a fidget jacket. spinner saleswoman? Or? <laughs> oh yes, we will get to that nice. in a second. Well, no, I, I just had a comment. The, yeah. It seems like because we've removed all of these um, barriers, like, you know, as, as kids growing up, you knew not to get out of line around certain guys because you might get popped in the mouth. If you said something completely wrong or if you did something really aggressive towards them, they might defend them, themselves. Maybe it was wrong, whatever. Right. But you knew where the line was. Now we have no idea yeah. where the line is because yeah. people are doing most of this stuff on social media. They can say whatever they want to say and then they go and do this in public and it's like, now I have to treat you with kid gloves. I don't know if you have a knife in your pocket. And you're going to grab the sign and then try to knife me. Right. Absolutely. Which, yeah. by the way, thank you for bringing up the, you know, where the line is, because we're going to get in this next one into the line of attack. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and what you yeah. see is maybe just seems like some kind of brilliant mocking <laughs> that I'm performing. Sometimes it's actually uh, really just a way uh, of disguising protecting myself, again, from being hurt. Uh, so let's roll this clip. You guys, uh, I guess, haven't seen I this. I haven't seen this. Of, uh, haven't the waited. next. Because that was actually tame. That was positively tame yeah. compared yeah, to what compared, happened. Oh uh, okay, spoiler alert. It involves a hobo's lunchbox being thrown at me. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, By the nice. way, there's no defense for that. <laughs> yeah, they don't you can that one. search no, high no. and low at every Krav Maga school in the country. Yep. Uh, They'll show you how to palm strike the nose, all that stuff. You know, stuff that you won't really pull off. But they have no hobo's lunchbox defense. <laughs> they even have monkey grabs peach. You know what that is? It's where you... Oh. Oh. Nuts. Yeah. I read, it in a ninj- wow. I read it in a ninjutsu book. That's not a joke. That looked like hmm. a Spider-Man. Did it? That's pretty much what it was, <laughs> was supposed cool. to be. All right, so nice. here is the next uh, uh, gender dysphoria, and there's so many of them there yeah. mm. uh, who Crazy. showed up here while we were interviewing this woman. Here Let's we... say a cop or an attorney or whatever. They That's ask a the question, well, what were you wearing that night this is that the permeates... <laughs> Which is bullshit, by it the is, way. It is bullshit, I'm so yeah. sorry. And sorry. you think rape culture is a can you, can you just wait? We'll have a conversation no, afterwards. I, I agree with you wholeheartedly. There's whole no hard conversation that needs to be f***ing had. Okay. Rape is f***ing serious. Rape it. has happened to me four f***ing times, and I'm sick and tired of this f***ing debate. Men need to respect women, period. So you should respect women. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> I am a woman, so fuck you if you don't think sir. so. I don't even have time I, for this. I, and I don't have time. My no, mistake. You're going to let me speak because uh, here is my truth. I've been raped four times. I've known women that have been raped multiple times gruesomely. And how dare you sit up here and try to say that women aren't Mm -hmm. worth respect. you. I didn't say that. I am a woman. I just became a woman. It's just like <laughs> people don't even respect uh-huh. me. Period. And I'm, I mean, I'm already black, so it's just like, uh, yeah, that already goes against me, anyways. But still, oh boy, fuck my, you, my you new piece con- of living garbage so, ass dumpster fire yeah. trash gum on the bottom of my shoe. What oh gum my do? god! I wish yeah. I had a tissue for the sorry, blood. Sorry, I would. Sorry, fucking sorry. Hurt. Oh. Might I suggest it's your behavior? <laughs> Not because you're black or a Now watch woman. this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can I stop here? Can I stop here? That's, uh, yeah. wow. that's a bridge too far. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's the bridge too far. Everything that was said about me saying, yeah. might I suggest it's your behavior. <laughs> oh, what? You animal! <laughs> <laughs> She's like, whoa. This is, I think this is going to escalate to a point where there might be some accountability for this psychopath. <laughs> By the way, not everyone, just that one with yes. the fidget spinner. Oh my God. Was yeah. clear, and lest you doubt me, you will see why I say I believe that that person was mentally unstable. Also, we were informed that that person was mentally unstable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that might be it. I want to be clear alert. about hey. this. Yeah. So oh a couple of things, gosh. again, uh, and we're, we're kind of joking, but listen, we've had some really dicey scenarios. Keep in mind, for those who've forgotten, we forewent the Virginia gun rally because we thought it would be too dangerous <laughs> for this. <laughs> it was the same day, and we could only do one. Man. Um, but uh, th- there is a certain level, or there's a certain distance with which I'm no longer comfortable yeah. when people come in, and this person came in hot. So yeah. let's replay this, and I'll show you what's kind of going through my mind here, and uh, a quarter by will pause. Debate. Men need no to debate, by the way. Women, no. period. So you should respect women. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry, I am a woman. So By the way, you. I really didn't know that. Would you know that's a woman no, right away? No, I just thought no, it was a guy you, dressed in a jacket. He's wearing a men's jacket. It's a letterman's jacket. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. Sorry, I was talking before I... Look, come on. Right there, it's like, well, that's a letterman's jacket and a fidget spinner and a carry-all. I mean, <laughs> how do you know? It's I'm the so serial killer starters kit. Yeah, can you please give us a little help here? <laughs> so right away, I don't know if you notice here, this person is leaning in and getting yeah. closer and closer. So when we start, my hand is about right here, okay? Mm-hmm. 
And this is something actually, Boss Rutten is a friend of the show. We've talked about this and he's done this before. When I get to a certain level where I'm not necessarily comfortable, I make sure and you see my hand go from there to here. Why? My microphone is right here. And you can actually see this back, if you go back to the uh, one crowd confronts where the guy tried to hit me with the pint That's glass. That's right. This translates very quickly into being able to protect yourself. Now, it's not yeah. kung fu wushu stuff where a fight is, if it happens, is never pretty. You're just trying to not be hurt if someone surprises you. So yeah. let's go back here. At this point, there was a point where I realized when this person was leaning in yeah. and yelling, the hand emerges from the table and comes up, as you can see right here. Why? Because, of course, I am looking to protect my face. Um, <laughs> should something yeah, come around and hit me yeah, in the face? You should right just there. lean into that. And we'll come back to that in a second. Also, too, this may seem kind of trivial, but I don't know if you notice this right here. See the elbow is right against the body. And again, that's because this kind of instinct, you don't want someone to hit you in the body. I'm trying to think what is exposed right here if this person tries to get aggressive. Now, you'll notice before that, when the, this individual was further away, I was sitting here, I was perfectly comfortable. Once that distance is closed, and I would highly recommend everybody out there take some Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu or some kind of a realistic co sporting combat art. Jiu-Jitsu, wrestling, Judo, boxing, Muay Thai kickboxing. Uh, that's pretty much what works, okay? Yeah. Because you'll be able to practice this uh, all the time. And it's about staying safe. It's not about, of course, hurting anyone or using any whatever martial arts prowess you may. It's just, it's an athletic event yeah. at that point. I don't know why people act like, Am I hand, no. are your hands registered weapons? No one's hands are registered weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Steven Seagal's hands are registered sporks, okay? <laughs> they flail when you run. Yeah. So I think when I play this again, I get even less comfortable as this person leans in even more. And so what you see with this, I'll explain to you exactly why my hand uh, took that position. My, you, my, you, you piece can... of living garbage ass dumpster fire trash gum on the bottom said that of already. my shoe. Well, okay, for a cu couple of things here. Uh, she's say he, she, Z is saying this. That, yeah. Because uh, I realized Z was expecting this to be like a clap back moment. Right. And yeah, I think yeah. Z thought that everyone around would agree with with, with them it because was it was a silence. woman's march, right? Right. And it was silence. She was like, piece of garbage, <laughs> bottom <laughs> of my shoe, dumpster fire, dumpster fire. And then dumpster. just kept going until Z realized that there was not going to be no. any sort of applause. No support. Yeah. None of those landed. Now, at this point, though, you can see Z is more and more leaning in closer and closer. Close, so at this yeah. point, I'm a little bit concerned. That was the breath. This is where I start doing that, as you see my fingers, my hands rotating. I'm doing a little bit of this. Now, yeah. why? Why did I do it with my right hand? Couple of things here that are important to note, okay? I'm going to switch this actually to a red uh, stylus to make this a little bit easier. Here's what I thought. And this actually did occur to me at this time. I'm like, okay, um, this person is probably not going to be throwing straights. <laughs> because it's, it's a transgender. A they're not going to be straight. They're not going to be yeah. going straight down the pike with a, with a jab right cross. I'm imagining it's most likely to be a slap. Now, uh, slaps wind, come in meal. on the periphery. <laughs> they come in on the periphery. So, at this point, right, my left hand, as you can see here, is kind of up anyway. And if this slap, let's say this left hand, his right, my left, were to come around here to try and slap me in the head, I do not need to duck my head below the level of the slap. I only need to duck my head below the level of this broad right here. <laughs> because <laughs> that She'll take would the absorb <laughs> yeah. the primary force of that blow. Now, quite, is, she, is she this person in the chair? A, a liberal, I'm assuming, based on the behavior? Yes, very okay, much so. So this would be a very good shield to use. Right. Okay, got it. Yes. Well, I wasn't looking to use a shield. Well, if you I was had just to, assuming if you had to. that this person wouldn't want to fight uh, right. an ally. But considering right, that later on, <laughs> this person ended up stealing a hobo's lunchbox. <laughs> yeah. God. Seems as though that wasn't their primary concern. No. Okay. Um, so again, I was thinking this isn't coming straight down the pipe, you know, straight right cross. And if that happens, all I would need to do, of course, is lean back because there's a right. table in the way. Right. So we've eliminated the risk of straight down, not only because of the table, but transgender, probably going to be a slap. Let's be honest, very limp wristed. <laughs> and then <laughs> we've saying. eliminated the risk of coming over to my left side because let's assume this is the lady's uh, head on this. I would just need to get below that <laughs> yeah. level. You can't really see because of the depth, but right there I'm already below. It's like the I don't need to outrun the bear. I just need to outrun you. Yeah. That's pretty much what happened. <laughs> so what I was figuring here was the most likely strike to come my way would be that Louisiana right coming around over to uh, the right side of my face, their left hand, which would still require, again, 
a big reach, right? A big reach over across the table would be telegraphed. And I knew that if I had my hand up, not yeah. only was this saying get on with it, uh, not only did it appear to be hilarious, but <laughs> in retrospect, uh, <laughs> this was me primarily concerning with myself with this is the most likely threat. So I want to have this hand up to parry, do whatever I've got to do. Yeah, the purse and, and fidget spinner. Yes. Thank goodness. I have no. I, I could have it's been a, a ninja star for all I knew. Yeah, you don't know with those. Yeah. <laughs> you guys know. Yeah. I mean, she could have had uh, concrete in that purse. You she could have had know. concrete in that purse. Oh, and that is also <laughs> something important to note. Um, I we now know that this uh, hmm. Tupperware container lunchbox was stolen from a hobo yeah. for two or reasons. Hobo. Uh, one, because the hobo was picking it up afterward and was very clear that it was these were his belongings. Oh. Uh, and it also, part of the belongings included a New Testament, which we know this individual probably was not, <laughs> uh, not uh, carrying around. Yeah, um, but even more than that, I noticed, um, here, actually, you know what? We can go, let's go back to this picture. Can we go back to this? Here, let me get rid of all these things. I noticed while we were here, look, the clutch. Because I can't remember what this was, but there was some kind of a designer logo. And I remember mm -hmm. looking at it going, oh, that's a fake bag because the zipper, here, let me change the, font, uh, the uh, color here. The zipper, which I could see on this side, was very poorly stitched. <laughs> so I knew. Oh. You noticed, hold on. You Steven noticed this. I swear Taylor. to you. Oh my God. I did. I, I, I <laughs> hand to all that is good Not and real. holy. Uh -huh. I noticed that the zipper wasn't actually matching up with the bag. And so I thought, ah. This is probably That's a hilarious. relatively new gender transition, someone who's dabbling, <laughs> because they haven't gotten the whole toolkit yet. That's right. Sherlock Crowley. You're on a but budget yeah. initially. <laughs> that, became, okay. that became relevant when the hobo's lunch pail, mm. or whatever it is, yeah. this is what I'm going with. It's really, it looked like one of those things that you would it's put like, like a a Crayolas in and class. Yeah, like an yeah. art, yeah, art yeah. cart. So okay. was, this a, was this a homeless person, or was this like a train riding bum? Um, Your guess is this hobo is that, is that the uh, I don't know delineating I just, factors. You, know, you say hobo, and I'm like, oh man, he's got a little stick with a bag on the back, and he's yeah with the a trains. handkerchief. Huh. Yeah, five, I don't know. Five o'clock shadow. Mm, he didn't say. For, well, you know, the thing is now, I was saying hobo she? to save time, but oh. now you've eaten it all up. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you didn't get all any the advantage out of that. Yeah. yeah. The point <laughs> accomplished here. And let's not lose sight of the point. <laughs> is uh, there is no way that this package could have been carried in this purse, right. That's true. in right. this carry-all, would small. simply not support it. And yes. this person was not, not gone nearly long enough to go to any kind of apartment or place true. where they could have. Maybe they could have gone to their car, but again, you the hobo was picking up the belongings, going, the "Crazy person took my Bible and my hairbrush." It was a Bible and hairbrush. Oh. Yep. So that's, it. that's mean. That's the story I'm going with. Yeah. Uh, and do we have proof of that? There, quarter black hair. You have. A clip, if I'm not mistaken, yes. where after this, this transgender individual leaves, and you found the footage. If we zoom in, you can see, yeah, bring that up. Wow, they're leaving. Yeah, you you this one, hold on. Okay, that's, yeah, that, that's just more uh, get berating the right me. Angle. Here we go. Okay. And there we go. So then the <laughs> interview continues now. Yeah, look. Unless that's what look, 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 oh, right there. there. there no is. hobo's lunchbox. No. It is not there. Good not detective there. work. Very nice. Quarter Black Garrett. This is... Building a case. Now, <laughs> only what would we say? Maybe. Ooh, maybe like 10 seconds later? 10 not, seconds not later, the gender dysphorian emerges <laughs> once more. Quarter Black Garrett, let's show that clip. Innocent, where you can see, look, guilty. look, a, is, and is now right around the corner, understand that if I lived in another country, where there just so happens to be a hobo uh, uh, who is now missing a lunchbox, hey, by the way. Give me my lunchbox. I, I know of. Ooh. Clank, miss. And then uh, shuffles I away. Watch this <laughs> run. Look at this. Come on, that's inappropriate, sweetheart. Look, terrible <laughs> running. <laughs> <laughs> The Steven Seagal School of Athletics. <laughs> the hardest part of this was while it's still conducting an interview and trying to keep a straight face. <laughs> this person just ran, just ran off like, ran off like, did you ever see the movie Gremlins 2? Yes. And there's a female yes, gremlin yes. who was chasing yeah. the guy. Like, Give me a kiss! And the yes. guy was not interested. Yeah. That's how this around. person ran off. <laughs> And that's the last clip that we have. That's right? the last yeah. one, yeah. So, um, yeah, and then after that, the uh, the man was collecting his belongings. The, uh, yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Here, here's something that actually is important. That homeless man didn't ask for his no, stuff to be stolen. He's the victim up. in this case. And this lady who I was interviewing, this obviously far-left, third-wave feminist, excused all of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All of it. Didn't say a word about it. Well, No, well, yeah, if you go and watch, she says, well, that was very brave of brave? Uh, her to yeah. say that she had been raped four times. Like, wait. 
it's it's brave to lie. I mean, we don't know if that's true or not. It's right. brave just to make a claim yeah. and then assault somebody. And then afterward, when the lunchbox was thrown, uh, I said, I just can't be- can't believe she- you're fine. Yeah, and you shouldn't go. And I said, that's not very nice, sweetheart. She goes, well, you know, you were go- you shouldn't have been goading it after they've left. Yeah. After they've curtsied <laughs> down the block, they've sashayed. All- she's- he's probably sashayed himself into Fort Worth at this point. Yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't have a- goaded him. He's he's no longer my line of sight. It's been- it could be a mirage at this point. It's <laughs> awesome. Gone. But all oh, of it was man. entirely excusable. Because yeah, we deserved yeah. it. And this is what's so important, I think, for people to note. And this is why it's important for you to keep your head on a swivel and stay safe. If you are in these groups, and you'll notice this, we're going to release some more conversations with Change My Minds. The white cis men are so scared to speak because if there's any kind of a confrontation or disagreement, they will immediately be vilified. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they know that there will be no recourse. They are in the wrong. This is the culture that has been created here. Yeah. I mean, you see this right here. Yeah, absolutely. At every single turn, it's, hold on a second, you're the white male, so you must be wrong. So you need to learn how to defend yourself, how to stay safe without even the perception of causing harm to anybody else because right. they're looking for you to be wrong and they really want you to be wrong. And this was really disconcerting um, when we were there to see yeah. this, this kind of a mindset. It really just comes from the idea that, okay, you establish this myth that we live in a patriarchal society, that, we, that rights are afforded to men that are not afforded to women, and that all of these people are neo-Nazis or white supremacists or hate groups. Therefore, it's okay to, the ends, justify the means, right. even if I steal an object from a homeless person, provided that I am whipping it at a cis right. white male yeah, who exactly. disagrees with me, and no one will do anything. Happens yeah. all the time. Well, and I think she probably would have been mad at you had you not come to her defense if this woman had targeted her, right? right. She, if, if this woman had come after her and oh, said something about it, she probably Wait, would have been like, came, help me. Who came after who? The, the transgender comes after okay. the liberal. Oh, you got to be careful. And a vortex uh, I swear, then opens I'm not up. trying to be a wise ass. <laughs> no, I know. I'm just very it's confused. And follow. I was there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but you would have been blamed for that. Why didn't you stand up for me? Well, I, I just didn't. Th- I thought you were in the wrong. <laughs> I have no. I thought you had it coming. Yeah, I, I, and I don't even know. Um, I mean, if I would have ever filed a police report. I mean, I also wonder. This person came up and said, "I am newly a woman, and uh, I was raped four times," which which may or may not be true. Which means you got it right to begin with because mm-hmm. you called her out on that. But the thing is, first off, okay, if I had a gun to my head, I would lean toward probably not four times. <laughs> yeah, but probably. I also <laughs> asked the question: When did this individual go from male privilege? to now right. uh, female victim status, and they weren't able to give me an answer. They said, whenever this person claims. So I now understand the solution to this problem, whereas I've been training and I pay all of this money to have security go out there to keep me and my crew safe. What I need to do is go out, slap on some rouge yeah. and a tube of lipstick, yeah. and just claim that I am a woman, and then slap go. people and steal their <laughs> With no accountability whatsoever. (laughs) Jack Nicholson said this best. What you want to know? How do I know women's marches and feminists so well? I picture a man and I remove all reason or accountability. Hey there, YouTube viewers. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell if you're already subscribed to this channel because that lets you know when new videos come out and they don't show up on the YouTube search feed. Also, there are videos playing in boxes here. Click one of those. Just of all the things that I just mentioned, all you have to do is one. And if you don't, I will run for the United States presidency under the 1,064th percent Cherokee party. I have yet to pick my VP.